Okay, so um, I've had some issues with my Mini. Uh, had a flat battery, put a new battery on. Um, all was okay other than ABS and DSC uh, warning light on the dashboard, as well as a steering lock light. However, it seemed to start okay, tried clearing the codes, wouldn't clear. So I thought giving it a drive would kind of clear the codes because it'd be an ABS issue. Got it to my workplace. Um, yeah, tried resetting the codes again and uh, it still didn't work. Did some work through the day, um, come back to my car and it was dead. A bit freaky, but I'll show you what, um, what actually happened. So, let's excuse the camera. Got the red steering lock light there. And my steering wheel is locked. Doesn't do anything. Key's in. Key won't do anything. Um, which is a bit of a ball ache, um, to be honest. Um, so what I've done is I've got some diagnostic software for, for the for the mini. Sorry about my hand there. I've got some diagnostic software uh, in yeah, Impa Plus. Sorry, Ista Plus. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and reset what's called an ELV counter. Um, what it basically does is, I think, from what people are saying is, that if you get the warning light at least 50 times, it locks out one of the ECUs to prevent it from starting. So what I'm going to try and do is use Ista Plus um, to reset the ELV counter, otherwise it's going to have to go to Mini and they will have to um, reset the, the cast or the, the ELV themselves. Um, whether that's just something they can do themselves, like I'm doing here, or could be a chance that it might need ECUs, which I hope not. I still think there's an issue with the ABS once the um, steering lock issue is sorted. But um, yeah, let's uh, let's give it a try. See what's what. So we're back with the car. Uh, obviously, there you go. There's that light. Still there. Uh, if you look with Ista Plus open now. Um, I read out the car, so it's giving me all the info there. Um, straight through to vehicle management and service functions. You look through the options, so you've got body and then reset internal ELV frequency counter. What I'm going to try and do uh, is reset the counter. And um, yeah, we're, we're hoping. Hopefully, add to test plan. Display. I'm really hoping this is going to sort the issue out, guys. <laughs> so, reset. Uh, the internal ELV counter must be reset. Uh, control unit. Reset performed. I've replaced in the steering lock. So, I haven't replaced it as such. Um, it's still the original lock. So, let's go to continue. Service, continue. Resetting. Please wait. I did hear a couple of clicks there under the dashboard. Terminal 15 was activated by controlling it. On completion of the service function, read the full code of memory out, controlling it, and work through as required. So continue. And uh, let's see if it's worked. All right, guys, so we're back um, back to the car. Let's hopefully, I've, I've pulled the, <laughs> took the key out of the ignition, um, giving it a second, and I'm just going to put it straight in. So, key in, there you go, I've heard the steering lock counter, or the steering lock, disengage, and it wouldn't have that before, which is awesome. Now I can concentrate on the ABS issue. <laughs> well, well, that's awesome. Steering is back here. Let me just try and start the car. Let's move my laptop out of the way. Just to show you guys, this works okay. 
a go. Interestingly, the um, ABS light isn't on. So maybe it was just that um, the steering lock or a red warning light giving it that fault code. Crazy. I don't get it. Right, there we go. Cheers, guys. I've got a working car. I just can't believe how much of a fat on that would be. Running. Yeah, I, I don't get it. Yeah, it's, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> Where ho? It's running. Hey. Uh, right. Um, well, we'll get back to it then. Thanks very much, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that helps you out. It's, uh, if you have the same issue, then I I was nervous, but I kept a, a cool head. Um, yeah, everybody sorted. But uh, yeah, thanks. Cheers.